Forging the scroll is one of the basic elements of blacksmithing. There are many ways to go about forming a scroll, and even more arguments to explain why people find them so captivating. Nevertheless, we must start somewhere, and today we will look at a small free-form scroll on the anvil. The tip of the scroll is where most smiths go wrong. The tip of the scroll quickly becomes inexcusable, and while the temptation is to rush through this step, it will haunt you in the end if you don't execute it well now. The termination is, after all, where your eye lands as you look at scroll work, and in some ways, it is the focal point, so it should be graceful and representative of the scroll itself. But once the tip of the scroll has been formed, the hard part is over. Now we are on to a simple yet profound technique of bending the bar over the anvil and using the imbalance of that bend to collapse the bend. By repeating this technique over and over, you can form a scroll that looks natural and does not have kinks as every hammer blow acts on a large portion of the bar rather than an isolated spot. If you think about it this way, the scroll is basically forged in midair, not around any form, and when you are done with your forging, it is a reflection not of the tool but rather the technique you use to make it. There is no better way to learn your way around the anvil than by free forging and adjusting scrolls, and it is a great way to train your eye. Thanks, and subscribe to keep up with what is new with Blue.